name is Jennifer Robinson. I live in Versailles, Illinois, and I'm a married mother of four. My husband works full time. I'm a stay at home mom. But if you weigh daycare, I have four kids. So daycare is expensive. So even just to get a part time job, I mean, that right there is my whole paycheck in daycare. We're on food stamps, but a family of six gets $200 a month in food stamps. How long does that last you? Not very long. Was there ever a time where you didn't know, you and your husband didn't know if your kids would eat? Would they ask you, Mommy, what's for dinner, and, and you didn't have an answer? Yes. What do you tell them? I don't know. You know it's just, I mean, you just do what you can. And they always had something. I mean, they never went to bed hungry, but might not have been what they wanted or, you know, so, or enough, but they had something. Do you ever see yourself not needing a food pantry? I mean, everybody hopes that they don't need it. But, I mean, with four kids at home, you just do what you have to do. I'm Justin Wood, and uh, we came from Tennessee. You are a single dad of two? Yes. Did you ever think you'd be in this position? No. Never. This is... Sometimes you gotta eat your pride. You gotta do what you gotta do for the kids. And otherwise, I wouldn't be here. If it was just me and no kids, I wouldn't be here. But I do what I do for them, and I come last. It's unfortunate that I can't provide for them as of now because I can't get daycare. But I haven't been able to. I've been waiting for them, the state to get back with me so I can go to work. Um, I have job offers, but nobody to watch my children. Food stamps only gives me 95 mo a month. That doesn't cut it for maybe about two weeks for three of us. I just feel like I'm not supposed to be here. I'm supposed to go to work. I'm Angela Douglas and I live in Decatur, Illinois. I'm a mother of two boys, you know, and I come in here from time to time. Sometimes we run low on food toward the end of the month. I was actually in a women's dove shelter for a moment and um, at that time I was actually helping out down here, so. They actually feed you there, so I couldn't get a food basket then, but I moved them out in that situation anymore. So now I can come down here and get some of the services that I weren't able to get before. And they actually really come in handy. It's a good feeling, you know, that I'm able to come down here and, and help out, and, you know. To see the look on some of the people's faces when they get these blessings that we give them when they come down here. It's amazing. I'm Bob Nineleen. I'm from Lincoln, Illinois. I've been here for 20 years. Would y'all look at me? Logan Mason Rehab Center for eight years. No, I retired in 2008. Back in the day, I was rough. I was receiving assistance from public aid. I was receiving those social security checks. I had to rely on the food pantry and the church down the street. I survived for six years. I just broke my butt to do it. I thought this food pantry was heaven to me. It's the only free food. It ain't the free food, it's the help you get from them. And I enjoy coming here now. It feels like I'm family. I'm Eric Murphy. I live in Whitehall, Illinois. They took care of me when, when I was, you know, 12 for 15 years. So I feel it's my responsibility to, to do, do, you know, in return for respect. Me and my grandparents, we don't get a whole lot of food stamps. So we come up here once every month to get food. It's not easy because I've, I've had, past six years, I've had like four jobs and it's just, uh, it's, it's hard. <laughs> it is in the economy we live in now. Uh, I've been volunteering for here for over a year now since last October of 2013 and uh, the reason I did it was because I was sitting there and I seen this elderly couple they were trying to pack out the boxes and I, I sat there and I just looked around at everybody I said somebody needs to help them so I got up and I started helping and I've did it ever since whoever's given the donations really thank God for them really from the bottom of my heart I really appreciate it